All right. So up next, understand the Salesforce architecture. So let's go ahead and dig into this. So understand the Salesforce architecture. So what is the Salesforce architecture? So it's it's a platform of many things on top of it. As you can see, IoT and social data, Thunder, CRM data, data management platform, there's Einstein, there's predictive analysis, there is component exchange, the Lightning platform, and Lightning and Lightning platform, there's the Heroku platform, and on top of this is built all these services, sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud, community cloud, analytics, apps, commerce, IoT, Quip, App Exchange, and it's growing every single day so don't fix your focus on this but the way i see it is by tapping into the salesforce platform you can help accomplish organizations which has the same values as your individual personal values achieve their goals so with this platform's power we can you know reach the goal better in a whole different way in a faster way and a more meaningful way and less time wasted that's the whole key so we're not going back and forth back and forth back and forth you know you know doing a repetitive task you know trying to figure things out because it's all over the place we can't decide fast we can't know um you know for analytics, we can know information fast enough. So this whole platform will enable us to accomplish more things. That's the way I see it. And for us as individuals, it will equip us, you know, to see how unlimited, you know, to tap into something that's pretty much unlimited. You cannot stop learning about these things because these things keeps growing. You can keep adding your skills and know more. What happens if you know more? You can help more people. That makes sense, right? If you can help more people, you be, you become more useful. And it's a very satisfying, gratifying and uh, you know, feeling to know that people need you. People would require your help, your your skills, you know how to make um things better, to accomplish things um, faster and you, you can just help more and more people throughout your organization you know help help more people in your department more executives more employees you know however you see it it just helps um, people's uh, life better in the workplace so that they can accomplish a whole lot more things okay that's basically how i see it i ha i hope it makes sense for you as well so Salesforce is a cloud company. What does that mean? That means you don't have to worry about, you know, developing things yourself. You're basically using what everybody else is already built. There's thousands upon thousands of organizations. You know, they want this, they want that to make things better. And you basically tap into those things. So this is why. Why do we want to trust the cloud? Because it's built on top of you know, I, as I said it before, just a few seconds ago, built on top of thousands upon thousands of organizations that know what they want, what they need. So, for example, governments, hospitals, universities, huge, huge corporations, nonprofit organizations, schools, you name it, um, you know, most of the very, very well-known brands, either it's you know, company brands, services are built on Salesforce, whether you know it or not. Telephone companies, cable companies, Uber, Amazon, Tesla, PayPal, everybody is using Salesforce. So why do we want to trust it? Because these huge organizations, even governments, requires a very, very reliable platform that they can trust. So we're just basically tapping into this whole platform. Then we can just basically also trust what everybody else is already trusting their data. There's very sensitive data like hospitals data, you know, all those very sensitive information are stored on the same 
platform as our organization's data. So that's why we trust it because because it's built very robust and and very strict organizations required very strict requirements for their data to be stored there and their processes to be used on the Salesforce platform. So we are basically tapping into that, all of that. So that's why we can trust it. So what is this part? Sharing is caring in the multi-tenant cloud. So basically Salesforce is a shared platform. So our data resides on the same network, same infrastructures, so to speak, with other organizations' data, which is very good on my point of view because this requires organizations to do best practices, you know, not to just do things sloppy, whatever, because you can't. Because if you have a whatever mentality, whatever attitude, it's going to break other people's stuff. Therefore, Salesforce will not allow you to have a whatever mentality. Because if you build and design stuff, you know, not thinking how it's going to scale up, meaning if you process or you design things to process, you know, a hundred records, compared when you're designing stuff to process 1 billion records, you know, it's totally um, a different approach on how you, how you design stuff, how you build stuff, you know, how you think. So Salesforce will help you grow in terms of how you think about stuff. It will, it will help you grow to become a better human, thinking about more, more people impacted. How, how, how am I supposed to, to design this so that if if a hundred million people uses my, my 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 platform how it will stay stable it will stay intact it will not break apart you know that's the mentality we are being uh, pushed on how how we can uh, create such environment where it can help more people rather than less people so that's the approach uh, I would see that it, I want to share with you. So the multi-tenancy is all good. So, okay, that's that. So next is metadata. So platform, uh, the Salesforce platform is basically built upon um, structures of data. So let me get to the point. What is um, metadata? It's a, a data about your data. For example, um, let me launch the 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 trailhead playground that we used before. Oh, we don't have that launched. But let me let me just explain it to you. Metadata is a data about data. For example, before we were talking about schools, right? Students. So the elements of what we call the metadata are student, right? Student and then grade. What grade they are? The 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 name of the student is a metadata, the field, the information we want to collect, the name of the student, the age of the student, the grade of the student, the address of the student, what neighborhood they are from, and so on and so forth, right? So that's are the metadata, student name, age, location, grade. That's the metadata. What? So what is the data? If there is the metadata, the data is. Jimmy, that's the student name. Student name is the metadata. Jimmy, the actual record, is the data. That makes sense? Age is the metadata. Age, 40 years old is the data. So Jimmy is the data. 40 years old is the data. Where do I live? Where, where's Jimmy's address? I live in British Columbia, Canada. That is data. Address is the metadata. So I hope that makes sense, right? So the data about the data, <laughs> so to speak. So data about the data. So how it's how it's structured, okay? So don't worry about it. It's all going to make sense. So API, what is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. So basically, this allows the Salesforce platform to talk with any other platform out there. So we, uh, this platform can talk with any other platform out there. So for example, if you want to talk with the Facebook platform, you can. 
if you want to talk with the Twitter platform you can if you want to talk with the Instagram platform the Snapchat platform whatever platform they they have out there if they also have an API it can talk with each other so that basically what it represents so on this particular module they are giving an example of how it can talk with the minecraft platform if you have kids like i have three kids and two boys they play minecraft uh, back then not not so much now but back then they play minecraft a lot and in, in fact my son joshua has three certification of java minecraft programming and he's just in grade four now that's how much i like to teach uh, daryl my my, my uh, older son has two certifications um, Salesforce platform uh, developer and Salesforce developer one and that's awesome I like to teach my kids and I like to teach you and pass on the knowledge so so this is how you can see the Salesforce platform can actually talk with the Minecraft game platform and grab data and then play with the data and represent the data maybe if you want to know um, I don't know what whatever data you want who's winning the game and stuff like that so that's basically it so to recap uh, we have why what is this platform why we trust the cloud right and sharing is caring what is sharing we mentioned that and the metadata the data about the data and the API that's basically it and I hope that makes sense if you have any questions and you you're scratching your head still what on earth what is blank so if you have any questions drop me a line at zone.io i would be more than happy to share with you what i know like just like with uh, my own uh, sons okay i'll see you on the next video which is the challenge answering these questions